Hi everyone and welcome to your pre-recorded video for um, the week that I am gone to visit um, Natalie in Florida. Um, as promised, I'm here tonight to share with you some of the new um, products that are coming out in our upcoming annual catalog. And I chose to start by sharing with you guys some of the um, new in colors or all of the new in colors I should say. So as I mentioned, I'll be doing an in-color club um, where you can get all of the different products um, featured um, in, with our in-color stuff for one set cost a month. And that registration, I'm hoping to have open before I leave. I am um, doing this video a few days before I leave. So hopefully it is out before I leave for you guys to be able to sign up. These are our five new wind colors. They consist of um, Pretty in Pink. I'm gonna show you the ink pad here a little bit as I go through these colors. There's your Pretty in Pink. It incorporates also a color called Summer Splash. Um, beautiful color. That's kind of a little bit of a mix between Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, um, and Bermuda Bay. Um, but I love it. It's just got a little bit of a different, deeper color to it than the Coastal Cabana did. Um, next up, we have Petunia Pop, which is probably one of my favorites, that and the Pretty in Pink. Um, but I love this pretty purpley pink color, and that's called Petunia Pop. And then we have Shy Shamrock, um, which, yes, everyone kept thinking it looks like Call Me Clover, but please know that all these colors are a uniquely different color. They might be similar, but if you put them next to each other, they are definitely different. This is more of a little bit of a brighter green, um, and I like that too. And then the final one is Peach Pie, which kind of reminded me of... Um, Oh, there was a, a peachy colored one out a while ago. Um, but I like this one, the papaya, the pale papaya. But this one to me is more peachy and not quite as um, pale um, as that one was. And so I really like them. I think that all of these colors together go, to, go together very, very nicely. And I cannot wait to design and have some fun with this. Now, other products that go along with these in colors that Stampin' Up! has. So if you join my in color club, each month you get one of the colors. You'll also get a bolt of these ribbons. Um, so the, if it's the month that I do um, the Petunia Pop, you'd get all of the stuff for the Petunia Pop. So in time, you'd end up with all of these awesome bolts of ribbon. Um, you would also get the blends. So these are all of the in color blends. And they do have a color for, or a blend for every single color. Um, so you also get this in your pack. You get the ink pad that I showed previously. You get the refill. You get a whole pack of each cardstock. Each month you get an embellishment for free. So one of the months your embellishment for free would be these beautiful 2426 in color shimmer gems. You just can't see the other color way up there. Um, but you basically get gems for free. You get a card that I hand make for you in the mail each month for free. Um, you get lots of little perks that you wouldn't get if you bought these colors on your own. And it's a great way for you to get them on a budget. So be um, on the lookout for that registration link to open for my in color club and sign up for it. It will start in May, okay? Um, and maybe it might not even start till June, depending on how quickly I can get everything out. Um, I'm, I'm behind a little bit getting that link out because I've been waiting for my catalog to come to be able to find all these prices. And my complimentary catalog is not here yet. So I'm in kind of um, uh, behind a little bit, but that link will come out and I'll be, be promoting it soon. You're also going to get the each marker you'll get, each month you'll get one of these markers. And then one, one month you'll get the box. I think what we've been doing is sending the box maybe in the first month. So that way when you get your markers, you can just keep putting them in there. At the end, you'll have all all of the different colors. So again, each month you get um, one of the different colors. The final thing that I wanted to share with you, um, part of the in color stuff, is the beautiful six by six designer series paper. Um, and you're also going to be getting this as part of your in color club as well. There's also some pretty glimmer paper that I will show you later because it's part of a different bundle. Um, but I will be including that in um, the in color club as well. Anything in color you will have at the end of this, okay? So just keep that in mind. You will have a little bit of everything um, that you want or need when it comes to these new beautiful in colors. Now something else that Stampin' Up! did this year is they have come out with a new base basic color to add to what they call their basics collection. So their basics collection is kind of like their black, um, their um, very vanilla, their basic um, white. They've come out with one called basic beige. I'm going to actually open this up, I think, so it's kind of hard to see, I know, with the glare. I want you guys to see this. So if any of you remember the color 
um, uh, Sahara sand. You might think that this is going to be similar to Sahara sand, but it is indeed a lot lighter and a lot more beige looking than sand looking, okay? So this is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Um, and then there's also um, a ribbon that goes with it. Very pretty Newton um, beige um, ribbon. And you also have an ink pad um, as well. Now this is going to be, so my In Color Club is normally only a five month club. I will be doing my In Color Club um, as a six month club. Um, the six month might be a little bit less expensive, but I'm gonna incorporate in the basic um, beige so that way you get all of the new in colors when I say in colors, the new in colors that Stampin' Up! has come out with, okay? So keep that in mind that you'll also end up with that. Next, I wanna share with you a new product line um, that Stampin' well, some of it's new, some of it's not, but this is a new, some of it's a new product line that Stampin' Up! has come out with. Um, what's not gonna be new is the, the Memories and More card packs. We have had the Memories and More card packs for quite a while now. These are really great for creating cards and things like that quickly and on the go. But what Stampin' Up! has um, brought out to go with them is what they're calling Inferior Packs, which is little packs of um, uh, like cutouts. So some of these I think are stickers. Some of these are actual um, just cutouts that you can put on cards. So it's designed to be a quick and simple, easy way for you to make cards without having to stamp or without having to, to fussy cut or even use your embossed die cut machine to cut out the images. So these are what they call Inferior Packs. We have labels and Layer, labels and layers, blah, fully flowering. Um, we have one here that is called, um, this is the saying something. So lots of different sayings. I love that one. So this, what I like about this is this would be really good to just have, like if you're at work or you're home and you have a whole stack of cards that don't have a sentiment on and you're like, oh my gosh, I just want a thinking of you card. You can easily add a thinking of you. If you want a um, birthday card, there's your birthday card. Um, if you want a thinking of you, better days ahead card. I mean, so this has got lots of different things. Now I haven't opened these up yet and I'm going to wait to do that until I have time to really kind of sit and digest. But this is one of the things that I know that I'll be adding to some of my, my class lineups is some classes focusing in on these inferior packs and seeing if there's some unique things that we can do in that space. Um, and then Stampin' Up! also has some of the Sunny Springs card envelopes and Calming Creek cards and envelopes. So you can use these and incorporate them in with all of this awesome other great product. So this is some of the ones that we were able to order on pre-order um, that I did um, so that I had time to play with it and see what I think. All right, now these are some bundles that are um, don't have any um, uh, sweet products with it. So meaning that they are just like um, bundles with a stamp set and coordinating dies. Um, and I'm not gonna actually open up all of the dies on these because they're pretty self-explanatory, I think, um, because you can kind of tell that there's gonna be things to cut out some of the different, um, well, maybe I will open a couple of them, but I'm not gonna do them all because some of them had to be a surprise, you guys, when I showcase the, the bundles when I make my, my products for your product. Uh, make my projects for you. Um, but here you have this one right here. So you can see it cuts out the tree. Um, and I know some of you were saying, oh, that's just like lovely as a tree. It reminds me of lovely as a tree as well, but we haven't had a tree in a while. And a tree is a really good um, stamp set for exactly these things. Thank you, birthday sympathy. I'm excited for this sympathy sentiment. We have not had a really nice sympathy sentiment in a while, and I'm very excited to see that because um, I think it's a thing that we needed. Um, so I'm gonna hand that back um, over to Jen. I have Jen here helping me tonight. All right, next we have In the Grove, which is awesome stamp set. Now this one I'm not gonna showcase right now because um, this one's got some really awesome dies for doing background things. And I'll be showcasing this one soon in an upcoming Facebook Live, but this one is called In the Grove. And I really like this one. Um, and I've seen some neat things in our catalog with that one. So I'm not gonna show those dies just yet. All right, next up is Seaside Wishes. And I really like the Seaside Wishes bundle because you have this embossing folder um, that you can um, do the cute little starfish. So, um, and I'm guessing there's probably also a die that is going to cut them out, absolutely. Um, so yes, we had something like this a while back, but this one's different. It focuses in more on the starfish. Um, and so I really like that one. Also got some nice sentiments there, coordinating embossing folder that's gonna go with that one. So I really, really like it. 
and I'm just gonna hand it back and let Jen make sure she uh, puts it all away. Um, this next thing I'm gonna show you is a couple of embossing folders that when they came out of the box, when Jen and I opened up the box to get ready to do this video for you guys, we were both like, oh my gosh, check this out. So, oh my gosh, check this out. Look at how big these embossing folders are. I love it. And so my first thing was, okay, what would I do with an embossing folder this big? One is I can see myself using it in my scrapbooking. And two, I could also see I'm doing a card base where the whole base is embossed. Look at that. And you fold it in half and your whole card base is embossed. I love it. This one is called So Swirly and it's just like exactly what it is. It looks like a marble swirly look. And this one is called dotted circles and again you have circles and it's all got different dots on it so pretty quick and quick and simple easy way to add some um, some dimension to a card if you just wanted to do something really fast on your card base so that's a new size brand new size of an embossing folder um it looks to be like um maybe it's a six by eight i'm trying to well it says on here that yeah six by eight six by eight inches so um definitely um an awesome size for doing um for doing bigger um projects okay the uh, next embossing um folder that we're going to showcase tonight is the eyelet and this one i love reminds me of a shirt i used to have when i was younger that was um white and it had eyelet like this in the pattern um very pretty embossing folder that's a new one coming out in the catalog all right, so my first suite of products. You guys ready to see a whole suite of products? <gasps> Check this out. I love it. Now, first of all, you guys are probably gonna notice that I did not do a sharing um, tonight because I ended up doing this video literally like right after my Facebook Live with you guys last week. And so I didn't have, didn't give you guys time to share it. And I had, but I had the time to get the video done. So I took advantage of it. So we will do two sharings. If you guys share um, my video from um, tonight where I showcased the um, rock and roll cards. And then if you also share this one, we'll do two sharings next week and make up for it, okay? So I just wanna let you guys know that I didn't purposely forget that. I just decided to um, give all of you guys a chance and time to share to get more names in the awesome drawing. All right, so this one is called Thoughtful Wishes, and there is um, coordinating dies that go with the amazing stamp set. So pretty. So Thoughtful Wishes. And then in this Thoughtful Wishes, we have the Thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper. Now look at this paper. I And again, I'm not gonna take it all out, but you have tons of different backgrounds and sceneries to use to make some beautiful cards with this one. Um, I love this one. This one also has with it some adhesive backed pearl trio gems, which are very, very pretty. I'm glad to see we are, we're, we're getting a few different kinds of pearls back, which is nice because we haven't had um, the regular pearls for a little bit. So I love that. And then there's also some 12 by 12 paper that goes with this. Now this is beautifully stunning. Let me show you. It is not double-sided. Um, but I am going to pull one of each of them out here. I may have actually gotten out more than one. Oops, sorry about that, John. I did. Um, ooh, but I'm glad I did. I didn't know. I thought there was just the two of them, but there's the three of them. Oh, my goodness. These are gorgeous, you guys. So this is single-sided. It is not double-sided. And, um, yes, I'm looking at this for the first time with all of you as well. This looks like it's got a gold or a silver foil in it, but it's more of like a pearl. It's like a pearl color. Um, I don't know if my video is going to do this justice. And it's got a little bit of a variegated look to it. John, look at these. So these are absolutely gorgeous. As I'm looking at this, I'm like, what am I going to design with first? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so now I feel really bad. There's a fourth one in there. You guys, this is gorgeous. So I don't know if we get, but that's another, are they all different? They all different? That one, yes. So they are, I thought that was the same as this one, but it's not. Oh my goodness. So yes, you get five different, now you do only get these um, five pieces. Okay, you don't get two of each one, so you just get five of each of these, or one of each of these, but that is gorgeous. And it also goes with that same bundle. So um, yes, I am looking at this for the first time. I have not opened any of these products. Um, until doing this video with all of you. So it's been kind of fun and ooing and eyeing moments for me. Now this one is what we call a mega suite. 
So this one has um, two different bundles that coordinate with it. And I can so I'm kind of gotten to know my customers and a lot of you very well, that I can see a lot of you liking this one. This one's called the Country Birdhouse. And so you have the stamp set and then the coordinating dies. Oh, she's got them all open for me. Coordinating dies that go with that one, okay? And then you have the Country Floral and the coordinating dies that go with this one. So lots of country themed things that you can do with this one. And then you have um, a dual pack of ribbon. This is the pretty pink and the basic white, and it comes together in one pack of ribbon. And then you have um, the basic gray and smoky slate pearls. So there's what I meant by another amazing pack of pearls that is coming out. Um, and I love this one. Um, it's just so, so cool, okay? So there is the basic gray and the smoky slate pearls. And then this has two different packs of designer series paper. Now I'm not gonna um, pull them all out. I'm just gonna kind of do it this way because you'll be seeing all of this product again when I showcase it in my Facebook Lives coming down the down the road. So um, but I'm just gonna kind of go through it like this. Look how pretty that country is. That one is so pretty, really pretty paper. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of go through it like this together. And then you have that one, like a weathered wood. And the regular wood grain, very country themed, right? I'm loving this paper. It's gonna go nicely with that bundle. Oops, there we go. The weather, the whitewash is what I call that one. And then this one right here. Okay, so this pack of paper is called um, Country Woods. All right, now the next one that we have, this one is called um, Country Lace, okay? So Country Lace um, looks like this. So you have this on the one side, and then you kind of go through it like this, and then you have that one. Uh, and just as the name says, it is Country Lace. So you can kind of mix and match these papers any which way that you would like to. Um, oh, that one's my favorite. Look at that pretty um, petal pink. So there's where you can see where the ribbon is coming into play right there. Look at that. Gorgeous. Um, okay, so that is that sweet. Um, and as you guys are watching this, like I said, I'm pre-recording this for all of you um, to be able to um, watch uh, while I am gone. But I'd love for you guys to comment and tell me what some of your favorite products are because, um, you know, it's, it helps me know where I should put my design efforts um, in, in serving all of you as my customers as well. All right, so next we have the Adventurous Sky. I love the this one with the, um, the airplanes. So if you know anybody who's ever wanted an airplane set, this is the chance to get that. Um, you always lift me up to my friend. Happy Father's Day. Flying by to say hi. You're the best. Look at that plain and simple. Get it? Plain. I love that. I love their puns sometimes. Okay. And then you have the Adventurous Sky dies where you can build your own plane with those dies. Is that not cool? With this comes um, uh, some industrial trinkets. And these are pretty flat, which is what I kind of like. They're they're going to be a good little um, little embellishment that I think is going to go through the mail. Pretty gosh darn good. Okay, and then you'll notice that a lot of these bundles don't have ribbon. And I'm wondering if it's because Stampin' Up! is realizing that some of our ribbon uh, might not be um, the best for going through the mail and things like that. Um, I find myself still using some ribbon, but I'm more of an embellishment person. And i am really been embracing their paper and using a lot more of their paper. Now this one right here is pretty cool. So this you can all cut apart on this piece um, and I'm not taking it completely out of the plastic, but you can see here how you can cut that all apart and you can use all of these little pieces for your cards. Um, love that. Um, this one I think is really cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And this is a really pretty masculine um, color map. That piece reminds me of one from one that we had a while ago. I forget what it was called, but it was like a world map piece. Ooh, that's a pretty blue one. More planes. And oh, sky. I like that. Oh, that's a pretty gray plaid one. 
Oh, I like this one a lot. That one is really pretty. All right, so that is this. Now, again, this one was called um, Adventurous Sky. So that's going to be one. I know I'm definitely going to be making some masculine cards with that. All right, I think this, is this close to my end, Jen? Okay, this is the last one that I have for you guys. I know, I'm really sorry, but you know that thing they call a budget? So I wasn't able to get everything on the pre-order, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed what I have been able to share with you. Um, and so this bundle right here that you guys are seeing now, this is going to be what I will be showcasing for the BB Monthly Club for the month of May. So if you are not part of my BB Monthly Club, give me a try. For $38.50, you get um, awesome things. I mean, you're gonna get a whole package of these awesome little in-color resin dots. You're gonna get a bolt of ribbon. I'm not sure which ribbon I'm gonna use yet, but this is the bundle that I've decided to use in May. And so for $38.50, you get all the supplies for eight cards. You get over $20 in product. After six months of being in the club, you also get um, uh, some goodies sent to you as my thank you um, for being in the club for six months. So if you love this bundle, I encourage you to give it a try if you haven't been part of that yet and received that monthly subscription kit. It is a kit that is done by me, not by Stampin' Up. So all of the cards are created specifically by me um, and everything is hand cut, hand packaged, hand prepped. I do call it my own little version of Kim Vogel's Paper Pumpkin subscription. So anyway, hope you give it a try because this one I think is going to be a lot of fun. This is also one of those double suites um, where you have a, a two different stamp sets and coordinating dies. So you have the Flowers of Beauty right here, which is so pretty, um, and the coordinating dies right here. Love those. What I really like about these is you can cut those out and get a bunch of flowers with one cut. That is so smart. How many times have you seen Stampin' Up! do these little dies where you got to run them through individually? That is genius. I love it. Um, so that is the Flowering Beauty. Now, as I mentioned, the resin dots also go with this. These are all of the in colors. Um, now, if you're going to join my in color club, this would also be uh, one of the um, extra freebies that you would get. Um, you get one freebie each month. And so this would be one of the freebies that you would get for the month, um, one of the months. Okay. Then you also have the unbounded love that goes with this. Now, I absolutely love these sentiments. Hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow. Love never gives up. Faith is being sure of what we cannot see. Love that one. Now, this stamp set was designed by one of our um, million sales achievers, um, Debbie Mrazek. And I know Debbie very, very well. And I am loving this set big time. Um, best of luck. Peace makes the world a better place. You're a true blessing. Um, little one friend, you've got this. Feel better. Uh, may all your wishes come true with sympathy. Happy birthday. My heart goes out to you. Just for you. I just love this stamp set. What I love even more with this one is look at these amazing dies that you can get to go with this unbounded love. So you have all of these different little die cuts that will fit inside of all of these little pieces um, or into these little sentiments. So some of these smaller ones will fit the words. You have these larger ones. You have ones that you can, um, I mean, there's just so many of them. Look at this. I am in love with that. You have some um, flowers that you can actually cut out to offset, put in the corners or something like that. I'm going to have a lot of fun designing with this one. This right now has got to be probably one of my favorite bundles so far um, because of the versatility of those die cuts and all of the different greetings that you get in that. Um, next up is the designer series paper. I'm going to actually put the glitter paper to the side so that it's not a distraction. I will share it with you though, but I want to share this designer series paper. This designer series paper has a lot of the in colors um, in it, which is uh, the new in colors, which is why those resin dots kind of go with it. In this paper though, you also have berry burst, you have clipso coral, um, and then you have all of your in colors. So there's a couple more that they added in here and I love it. So let's go through this paper together so we can see it. Um, this paper, like I said, is really, really pretty. This will be what I'll be showcasing my um, BB Monthly Club. Um, so Club Gales, if you know this is a bundle that you want, um, let me know and I'd be happy to order it for you the beginning of May when it goes live. And that way I'll have it for you when your kits are available as well. So just let me know, like I said, if this is one that you think that you might like um, to have. 
Um, I know some of you also enjoy ordering the paper at the same time, so please just let me know and I will get that all added in at the same time. So there you have that beautiful, beautiful paper. Um, with this, they also have some glimmer paper. Yes, glimmer paper. So this glimmer paper is in all of the in colors. So now if you're gonna join my monthly club, you will also get a subset of this each month as well. So um, you'll get um, them each month. So there's the, the peach, um, there's the petunia pop, and then there's your pretty in pink. Aren't they just gorgeous? And then you have your um, Shy Shamrock. And last but not least, you have your Summer Splash. Um, so this paper will also be showcased in my club in some fashion that you'll eventually get this as well. So you'll get everything um, that the in color, um, uh, in color stuff has in our catalog. All right, so anyway, I want to know, as I'm wrapping up my video for you guys um, for this week, I definitely want to know what are some of your favorite products that I've showcased for you tonight. Um, I can't wait to share with you guys more um, more um, awesome things from the catalog when the whole catalog goes live. Um, hopefully you guys will receive your catalog in the next week or so if you haven't yet. If you don't receive it by the end of the month, please let me know. And as always, um, thank you guys so very much for, for watching along every week and um, being there and being patient with me. As most of you know, that there's times I, I um, don't always get to everything I want to get to because I just don't have time. Um, but I appreciate all of you very, very much. And I hope that you have enjoyed um, this little sneak peek. And I will be back live with you guys next week as I return um, from my trip from seeing Natalie in Florida. Um, and then I'm going to be counting down the days until she comes back. So um, anyway, um, I've, I've, I miss her and I'm ready for her to be home. All right. Thank you all so very much for joining me on this little sneak peek night. Um, be safe. And I look forward to being with you guys live again next next week. Don't forget to share this video or if you comment on it on my Facebook or on my YouTube um, channel, um, you'll be in the drawing for goodies next week and I'll be drawing extra goodies. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here again next week. Bye everyone.